Let's do this. Elder fight. Okay, so it's happening. <laughs> it's happening again. Spawning. The elder is spawning. Oh no. Oh no. And I started to clear these guys out. Take them out one by one from here from a safe spot. And right here in the middle of the ocean, there was a really weird fog. And for some reason, I thought, hey, you know what would be great? Instead of going the normal way, let's try a shortcut, going to the left side of the island. At this point, I figured out, hey, if I'm gonna keep going this way, I'm gonna get totally lost and screwed. So... Greetings, fellow Vikings. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the world of Valheim in this permadeath challenge on the hardcore mode. I'm gonna post the settings on the top right corner of the screen so you can see what sort of settings we are having and we are playing with and feel free to play along with me. So uh, if you recall we're just continuing from the last episode. We've just got back from that fascinating island ad adventure. But we did find the elder. There was a bit of a, a gamble there but we, we did find him and we managed to survive, get out of there alive. It was, uh, it was quite difficult given the <laughs> the fact that I totally forgot to bring a poison resistance mead because of course the shaman deals poison damage and I almost died to the shaman. The only thing that saved me there was the leveled up troll armor. It has, <laughs> I had a lot of defense so if not for that I would have been gone and the challenge would have been over before the elder. But luckily that isn't the case and here we are, we're back into the base just sorting some stuff in, uh, in here and grabbing the meads because the meads are now ready. Also, we I forgot about the carrots, so <laughs> let's get the carrots and get the better food going before uh, fighting the elder. Sorting some stuff around here, around the base. But yeah, generally you want to have better food. Of course, it's not necessarily 100%, but it's good to have it. Now the meat is all cooked. We got the meat. Nice and uh, crisp and delicious deer meat. Just gonna add a few more. Okay, let's just also plant the seeds because uh, I want these to be grown by the time I get back to the base. Having all these nice uh, ready by the time we are here. And that's the day. Let's just call it a day and uh, sleep on it. And I'll catch you in the morning. Okay, the very next day, first thing in the morning. Let's see, let's get ready to craft the food. I'm just looking at the recipes here, just calculating how much of each do I need. And frankly, these cost quite a lot. I also went for the tasty meat. I've never used the tasty meat. Some people out there think that the tasty meat is the best in the game. I haven't tested it. I know that you can drink a lot of it. It has no cooldown like the other potions. So there you go, tasty meat it is. I don't know if it will help me or not. I also know that something like when you drink it, you, have, you don't have to consume any stamina when you drink the meat in order to regenerate all the stamina back. So um, if that's the case, it's good for a range fight if you stay away from, uh, from the boss. But I don't know, we'll see. Over here, just grabbing the materials for the arrow, for the arrows, also the feathers, I forgot to grab the feathers. And we're crafting the arrows because I, for some reason, I thought we we're gonna need a around 300 or 400 uh, fire arrows. Because I, like I said, I've never actually killed the boss on the hardcore series. Right then and there, while I was waiting for the tasty mead, because I really wanted to have that in my inventory, I went for some seeds. Now I wanted to get a seed out of every single tree that I can farm. Right. So uh, this is what I'm doing right here. I'm just looking for all sorts of trees and grabbing all the seed from the beech and the birch tree. Right here, I'm going to take a uh, tackling the birch tree. Easy, just like that. We got the birch seeds because I wanted to add some color to the base because it looks like a really sad base. Now we're going for some fir, for some uh, pine cones and. Uh, and fur coin, uh, cones just to um, 
yeah, like I said, just to decorate the base. Because I was thinking at this point, yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Might as well, since we're waiting for the uh, tasty meat. Let's just get the seeds going and everything. And I wanted to sleep as soon as possible to call, uh, to finish the day and uh, actually pass the time really fast. Over the next morning, just placing everything in their appropriate chests, because you know, keep it tight and clean and uh, everything is in order here. Every single item goes to its place. I like to be well organized just because I hate, I hate, I hate messes like this. Like when you're in a hurry in the game and I feel like you're also wasting time of uh, your uh, viewers when you just wander through five or six chests trying to find your items. So that's, uh, that's not ideal. Just checking the bow skill there. <laughs> Meanwhile, why I'm going for the, uh, for the trees, for the pines, for the pine seeds. Just collecting uh, small resources here and there. So yeah, this is a, these are the pine trees. Usually when I farm trees or anything like this, I tend to go for those that are close by, so I can swing two at the same time. Because this is faster than chopping them uh, one by one. There you go, we have the pine cones. Just like that. And we have some action here. <laughs> also be careful not to get struck by the trees. Not when they fall on the ground, but they can roll from a hilltop and hit you from a hilltop and even that can be really dangerous and hardcore. So yeah, and in most cases, at least for me, like I said in one of the comments, farming some neck tails in here and uh, boar meat. Like I said in most comment in one of the comments, the reason why I use the troll to farm the oak tree or just um, go for the boats in the dark forest and harvest those uh, re really rare boats instead of smashing trees in each other is for the same reason. Smashing trees one in another is really dangerous. And you can get uh, damaged really bad by, by doing it. Back at the base, I'm just taking care of the happy corners. I wanted to place the trees. We'll see if it looks good if, or, or not. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait for these to grow. But yeah, I'm basically I'm trying to plant them uh, <laughs> in equal distance to one another so they can grow and be nice and these areas. I wanted to have some green around here because I'm using no mods for this playthrough. So yeah, I wanted to have a lot of green <laughs> because uh, green is good, right? Some birch trees right here at the entrance. And then some beech trees. I think I've planted two beech trees near the house, near the base entrance. Just like that, have it nice and tight there. And I wanted to see how this will look. I'm really curious to see if this looks good or bad or <laughs> if it's an improvement or not. We'll just see. We'll just see. One thing at a time. Let's not worry about this right now. But yeah, I'm still waiting for the tasty meat at this point. And uh, nature looks good. Nature looks good in those corners. Let's sleep. And there are two days that have passed really quick. I'm, I mean... That's the whole point of this plan, right? To to have the time pass really quick, so I can get those meads and uh, be on my way to the elder. In the morning, first thing I'm gonna check is obviously the mead, and it's done. <laughs> this was good news. Forty nine days. Look at that. Forty nine days. So in the forty ninth day, I'm just looking at the carrots here, because I kind of needed some extra carrots for the food. That that was enough for me, so uh, some extra carrots would have been uh, great. Grabbing all the carrots that I can pick at this point, even if not of them, all of them are uh, are ripe, or not all of them have grown. Really fast here, crafting all the soup. I'm gonna fast forward here because this is really boring. Too bad you can't craft these in a bulk. Would have been great for any uh, gameplay. Okay. Got a deer stew, minced meat sauce, and all the good food. I really thought it was going to be a long fight, or I didn't know how much time it was going to take, so... Unlike the other time, I really wanted to be perfectly ready for this. So, uh, yeah, I took <laughs> I took everything with me, and I was uh, I was going to make sure that this is, uh, this is it. Got the food, got the meads and everything. Got the arrows, one last save before sailing onto the seas. And here we go. 
we are on our way back to the Elder Island. Because we have no portals, so we have to actually <laughs> sail back and forth. And right here in the middle of the ocean, there was a really weird fog. And for some reason, I thought, hey, you know what would be great? Instead of going the normal way, let's try a shortcut, going to the left side of the island. I went on the right side of the island, and now I decided to go on the left side and take some sort of a shortcut. And uh, please don't do that. Take on my advice. Don't take any shortcuts if you have no map. Even with a map. This thing is super dangerous. <laughs> And because of the fog, or because whatever, see, like here, the island is to my right. This island was to my left uh, last time I've played this. So I figured out, hey, that's the island of the Elder right there in front of me, right? Because it's the same island, I'm near the same island as I was in the last episode. So let's go straight ahead and <laughs> go to that island. And in theory, the Elder should be there, right? Wrong. The Elder was not there, so I got close to the island and some of the structures look familiar, but then again, they're the same structures in every forest, right? <laughs> so I was looking for the towers, I was looking for the dungeon or anything remotely that can remind me of the last island that I've uh, explored. But uh, I've s I spotted that corner of the island right here on the left and I decided, hey, let's see, is this... Wait, am I going in circles? I was really uncertain here. And I wanted to see if there's a dungeon here. Because I thought I'm still on the first island for some reason. And it was really weird for me because this island was really confusing. So there was no dungeon here. I quickly got up back on the boat. And then I spotted an oak tree. Because that was confusing for me. There was an oak tree right there in the distance. So Black Forest and Meadows, I said, wait, this is the wrong island. Am I on, am I on the first island? Right, what's happening? And I kept going alongside this new island that I've discovered by accident, thinking that is the Elder Island. <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't. So I kept going, I kept going, hoping that at some point, to my right, I'm going to actually, well, collapse, collapse, not collapse, but crash into the Elder spawn location, right? But that actually didn't happen. And I wasted a lot of time, so... There are just bits here and there, and of course, I've had a lot of trolls spawning in the distance. And it was quite fun trying to shoot them from the boat while moving. I felt one of those, I felt like one of those uh, horse archers. <laughs> but yeah, just messing with them, I don't want to make things difficult, because they can follow you in the ocean. So this is another one, actually. I'll keep going for those uh, small islands. And this guy will despawn too, because I'm moving too fast. Look at that, stagger, stagger. <laughs> I think it will despawn. Yeah, it <laughs> just did despawn. So here, this is a third island that I'm um, here. And there's another troll right there. Near the cave, so three trolls this time. But we don't need to harvest their resources because we're good on the armor and everything. So yeah, I, I kept hoping. I kept hoping that I'm going to see my workbench. Because this is what I'm looking for, right? I said in the last episode, you need to have landmarks. So... The only landmark that I had was the workbench. At this point, I figured out, hey, if I'm going to keep going this way, I'm going to get totally lost and screwed. So, I did the smart thing at this point and turned around. Now I had to backtrack all the way that I came from. And over here, I figured out, hey, why not? Let's have some fun. It was really boring for me sailing for around an hour. So, yeah, let's take out the troll. Just like that. Smack. And he's gone. I actually felt bad for the uh, for taking him out just for sport. But there's the troll. It's gonna be a big pink explosion. And there's the other one that I didn't finish. Just chilling here. <laughs> and there you go, that's the second troll. So I knew that I've passed by these trees, because they look obviously the same and the troll was here. So the only thing that I wanted at this point was to get back, get... Uh, Back to the main island. It's the 50th day. Imagine the 50th day and I'm lost at sea. So I just wanted to get back to the, to the main island and uh, from there get back on my track to the Elder. 
So I got to this island and I figured out, let's stay on the coast of this island. And it was a good thing that I did because there's the landmark from the last episode. Those uh, four or five pines there in the distance, as you can see them. That was one of the landmarks that I got by, I, I passed by on my way to and back from the other. So I figured out, hey, finally, <laughs> finally we are on the right track. So we're no longer lost. It's just here and everything is cool. Just gonna need to go into the same direction and try to keep the boat steady. And hopefully we're gonna land on that big chunk of dark forest island that actually has the Elder Spawn Altar. So those were maybe two hours wasted of my time going around the sea just because I wasn't... or I, I wanted to take a shortcut. So don't take any shortcuts. If you have a specific route, keep to that route. Look for your landmarks when sailing, especially with no map. But yeah, I wanted this challenge to be super, super difficult. I mean, as difficult as the game can make it without any mods. So this is the most difficult I can game. The, the game uh, can make it for you. So eventually I found my uh, workbench. We're back into the tower here and I got to start working on some things here. I was looking, uh, hey, you know what? Let's place all the resources in the chests. Get me uh, the rest of the resources. Get the food going, get the meads. I was thinking, what? why would I uh, keep the meads at on me, right? Because I want to work on the arena. So uh, let's just place everything in their chests. And then I went working for, uh, started working for the arena, right? So I wanted for these uh, rocks near the arena location, the, spawn, the boss spawn. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Of course there's a great dwarf. Of course there's a great dwarf. So I went for the drew for these rocks because, I don't know, they look large and <laughs> I feel like they can yield a lot of uh, <laughs> stone. But yeah, it's fine. So I just went for these rocks, super fast, clearing all these. I needed a lot of stone for the arena that I wanted to build. Because like I said, I mean, I'm not going to take any chances here. I wanted to play super safe and I want to trap the Elder in this arena. And just don't even get close to him. Just stay super far away and shoot him. Do the same thing with Yagloth because Yagloth is a death sentence if you get close to him. I'm not going to sure how I'm going to try and take him out on the melee run, but we'll see. We'll deal that. We'll we'll deal with that when the time comes. Because as an archer, it's easy. You can just take bosses from afar. You don't need to get close. And I was a mistake in the last run because I actually got cocky and got close to him. So I figured out. Let's just sleep on it and start working on the arena next thing in the morning. Okay, morning it is. Fifty-one days in these in this challenge. And we're close to actually going for uh, for the Elder. I was super excited. I just went straight to the arena and started working on it. I didn't want to create walls all around. So I just wanted to, because I, I felt like I, I had to mine way more stone than I just did. So I wanted to do just this. So uh, leave some space between them because I figured out, hey, the Elder can get through, right? So he can get through the through the gaps and I checked every single gap at the end of this so just raising the ground yeah see like here I'm just testing to see if I can fit through there through that gap and I figured out hey that's nice I can't fit through there so the elder can't right we'll see we'll see I mean I know everything is possible this is the last bit just raising this dirt and this is how it actually looks from a distance I felt really pleased with it really happy now I'm looking for a spot where I can start shooting the other. But I also needed to make this spot safe, right? So I started chopping some wood around here, around this area, because I wanted to have a clean sight of the boss just to start actually, actually start a decent safe fight. Like I said, clearing all this wood. I Eventually I'm gonna farm all this wood and deposit it into chests. So I started working on a small patch here and I tried to raise some ground just to make sure I'm on a nice flat platform with two pillars that he, that can't be destroyed, right? So I'm gonna raise the ground in the shape of two pillars. And I'm checking on the side to see how it looks. So this is, uh, hey, of course, the forest is moving. At this point, it was kind of the time. So that was the spot right there and I still need to work on it, but the forest is moving. Actually, something really funny happened here. 
I was like, hey, let's test the arena, right? So the monsters are coming, let's see how safe I am into this arena. So the event started, and I was like, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna chill here, wait for the event to run its course. Let's just stay here, stay on the ground, chill, because the monsters can't get in here, right? Of course, it's safe. So uh, I'm still looking around to see what's happening. And all of a sudden, something weird happened. I got a rock in my head. Ow! And look at these guys. <laughs> They're all here. They're all surrounding me. And bad news, they can climb over this hop the gap right here. And yeah, things are not looking great. Because if monsters can get in here, that means that the Elder can get out of here too. So I was really stressed at this point and I was like, no way. No way. Just waiting for the forest to rest again. Right here, clearing every single enemy that's going to be left. Yeah, like that. And all those annoying little gray dwarfs. And then back to the base because I was like, come on, this is this is silly, I'm not going to do this. The Elder can get out of there, I'm screwed. If the Elder gets close to me, I'm going to die again. So I wasn't going to take any risks. Getting some stone from the base, taking it back there to actually fix those walls, like I said. Now I raise the ground in between them, not between between all of them, but just where I felt like uh, <laughs> it's not safe, right? And things can get through. Next, I was greeted by uh, two one-star Grey Dwarfs. Now this is a rare sight. I've never actually spotted two one-star at the same time. While I was trying to get this wood and clear this area. Then I tried to create a campfire and a workbench that are actually gonna keep me the, with the rest of the buff, right? And in case the bow needs repairs and everything. So I wasn't going to leave anything to chance. Okay, then the forest started moving again. A lot of movement in this forest. Okay, <laughs> and I was like, hey, let's test this arena. Did I do the right thing? I still, I still felt like there was a gap there. But uh, I was gonna test this and waited for the event to run its course. And this time they didn't enter. Look at them, all of them happy people there. <laughs> happy Great Dwarfs. And I started to clear these guys out, take them out one by one from here from a safe spot. And after I took all of them out, I had to clear their mess. <laughs> look at look at that. There's a lot of mess there. And then I came back here trying to work on these two pillars. I call them pillars, but they're just... There's just dirt that's been raised from the ground. I want it to be super safe in here and to actually make sure that I am uh, I can hide from uh, from his attacks, from the Elder's attacks, right? Okay, this is how it looks. Now I'm going back to the base and I wanted to finish the day properly because this was another day spent just working on the arena, making sure everything is perfect. The very next day, 53 days have passed now, three more days in this challenge, so I went straight back. And I thought, hey, you know what, I need to create... <laughs> I need to create a safe structure here, so I... Uh, actually, I surrounded that, the entire thing with wood, right, to make it safe, in case the enemies or trolls or great horse were gonna try and uh, attack me. So I went back to the base ride back to the base, grab my arrows, my meads, and well, this was it. I created a point for me to enter that uh, safe spot that I've created there. Got everything in order here, got the bow, got the meads, let's see, everything prepared, and it was time to face the Elder. So, wish me luck, <laughs> this is it, the Elder fight. Let's just get quickly into the arena and summon the Elder, I guess. And see if we can have a revengeance because he really mopped the floor with my uh, bum in the last episode. Activate the ice here so I can run away in case of anything. Oh boy, this is it. Let's do this. Elder fight. Okay, so it's happening. <laughs> it's happening again. I was just checking to see where he spawns, make sure he spawns in the actual arena. Run, 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 the Elder is spawning, the Elder is spawning, oh no, oh no. 
I was really nervous because I thought he could actually shoot me while I was cl still climbing those stairs, but unfortunately, he seems pretty stuck right there. <laughs> I just started to blast him with arrows because he, at this point he's obviously stuck. He doesn't even attack me at this point. So I went really fast through my arrows, shooting my arrows at, this, uh, at him. So yeah, not an epic fight, but this is the safe as you can get the Elder. Right, he's trapped in that stone circle, he can't get out. And I couldn't believe it, the Elder is actually defeated. So we made it through, and I was super, super happy. <laughs> I was actually ecstatic at this point, because look at that. The Elder is actually down, and we can go to the swamp. Now, this is the most progress I've ever made in this challenge. Right, getting the Elder and going to the swamp without actually dying once. But this tormenting settings with these settings, actually, they're, they're really good. And I just realized that I didn't even eat the food. So at this point, I, I was like, hey, you know what? We can take him out again. It was super easy for us, so <laughs> let's just take him out again. Because I wanted to have two trophies, one to hang on the wall in the house. And there he is, he's, uh, he's up again. And one to place on the stars, the trophies. Same thing here, I'm just hiding, trying to see if he actually attacks me. But he just stays there like a tree stump. He does nothing. So again, started to blast him with arrows really fast. Taking huge, huge chunks of his HP with the fire arrows. As you can see up there, everything goes smoothly. Trying one of the tasty meads. And that's that. That's the second elder. Look at that. Oh my god. Now, with the, second, with the second Elder down, I felt way more confident about this. You can actually work on the arenas when fighting bosses. And sure, why not? Let's, let's take a bow here. But I forgot the command, so let's take a bow. Because <laughs> I feel like this is earned. And well-deserved bow. Because, honestly, it was, it was a lot of work to trap the Elder in the arena and actually fight him without him being able to damage us. So that's that. The Elder is gone, now just taking back the resources, back to the base, because I'm just trying to see which resources are the most important, so I'm gonna take them back to the base. Making sure that everything is in order here. Going straight for the boat, in the boat, and back to our base, because now we have the Swamp Key, we can start looking for the Swamp in the next episode, and that would be great. Just gonna need to be super prepared for the swamp too, because so many things can go wrong, especially in the swamp. But I feel like the dark forest is more difficult than the swamp, at least for me, from my point of view. Enjoying a nice smooth sail back to the base, going over, over each wave, nice and easy, and this is super, super cozy. As I said, landmarks are really important, as you can see, back to that small island with the pines near the meadows. So now I know, and my mind is safe and sound, because <laughs> I'm not stressed, I know that I'm on the way home, getting close to the docks. And I didn't realize at this point, but something interesting happened. The trees have all grown. And I didn't expect them to be all grown, I mean, it looks amazing, it's nighttime, I can't see anything. But in the morning, in the next episode, we're gonna check them out. So that was the Elder, wow, amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, much love from me, bye bye, see you all in the next adventure of this crazy, crazy challenge.